Okay guys, welcome to another video. In today's video, I just wanted to show you quickly my battery backup system. And it's not fancy, it's not elaborate, but the reason I'm making this video, as you can see, this is my router and modem, my PS4, my TV, just kind of my electronics. And they're not on, why is that? Well, for some reason, I just noticed a couple minutes ago, um, I got home and I didn't have power and it's really bright and sunny on out so I didn't have lights on and that's why I didn't notice. So I thought it would be a perfect opportunity to just demonstrate this battery backup system. And in the future I might show you the exact things. But what we'll do real quick is everything's plugged into that outlet there, that power strip. So we'll unplug from the wall. And then we'll just plug right in there. Right? We'll flip it on. Light comes on. Lights on here, router and modem starting up. You can see the power button on. PS4 is on. Let's see if the TV power is on. Yep, everything's up and running. Router is powering up, modem's powering up, and everything is good to go. So, if you want the details of what I used, um, again, it's very simple. A Schumacher battery charger, a 400 watt inverter, uh, some 12 volt outlets under there is a 100 amp hour deep cycle battery so it's designed to be deeply discharged a normal automotive battery it's called a starting battery and it doesn't last that long if it becomes uh, discharged with this you can fully deplete it or near fully deplete it and recharge it hundreds of times with no ill effect. And then pretty much uh, to charge it, when you have grid power, the cord is right here. You would plug that into the wall right now. The power is off so it won't charge. So as you can see, this is only a six amp charge, two amp maintainer and a 10 amp boost. Meaning if this battery fully dies, Theoretically, it'll take 10 hours to recharge it. Now, how do you recharge it if your power's out? Uh, that's what it, where a generator comes in handy, especially those small inverter uh, suitcase uh, generators. They're only rated to, you know, 1500 to 1800 running watts and 2000 to 2400 run, uh, surge watts, but it allows you to Anytime the generator's on, you plug this in, and that way you can fully charge this. And then you can still power your modem and your router and your laptop and other small electronics without having to start your generator up. So it, as this dies down, I'll just start up my generator, run the extension cord, plug this in, and it'll charge up. As you can see, I just made it out of two melt crates, and it's on a collapsible dolly so it's easy to move around it is kind of heavy uh, it is semi uh, portable um, and then because I have the extra space I keep just some tea lights all these are rechargeable batteries double A's and triple A's I have a um, some 18650s mixed in there a kilowatt meter and then in this container down here I have double A battery chargers phone chargers, mini USB, USB-C, um, pretty much any type of charging cord uh, is in there. The benefit of this too is I have this box which has a 12 volt plug 
so it plug into this cigarette lighter port and then you can directly charge batteries and cell phones via USB and you bypass the inverter so the inverter can be turned off and it's a direct DC to DC charging instead of DC converting to AC and then converting back to DC so it's a more efficient system charging directly DC to DC if you don't know an inverter just converts uh, DC or battery power oh you just heard the fan kick on um, an inverter pretty much converts DC which is battery power uh, direct current to AC alternating current or what most people think of as normal electricity that you get out of your wall outlet and then I just had some extra molly pouches so I have headlamps in there and flashlights in there lanterns and stuff like that so again hopefully you guys enjoyed this video not super scripted uh, impromptu it was just a perfect opportunity to show you my battery backup system uh, I encourage you guys to go out and build one uh, it comes in really useful uh, you can go back to my homepage and watch some of my current videos if you like what you see feel free to subscribe and thanks for watching